the internal thing is me being the um, kind of pinching point, right? Or the person who has to say the final things on or have the final say on things. Uh, that's something that I've had to work on quite a bit in order to give, to be able to, I guess, continue the workflow as well, right? So like if there are things, I was just out of town for a couple of weeks and if I would have just given them full control on some of these projects, uh, they wouldn't have needed to reach out to me to get confirmation on a design choice or like a, a layout question, something along those lines. Um, so that internal thing is, it all, for me, like it just at this point in my business, it all flows back to the same thing, trying to scale a business and being able to let go of certain parts of it is incredibly difficult. Um, I would say that, and honestly, accounting, man, holy moly. Like, I, I, I don't know, when, when, I, when, I, when you do as many transactions at one time as I am, and you're doing this many, buying these many things, and just keeping organized has been uh, an absolute um, huge hurdle to overcome. And I feel like I'm, fine, I'm about this close to getting it done, but it's still one of those things that it hit me really hard about uh, a year and a half ago, two years ago, um, when I hired my first accountant and that was just finding a good system for accounting was, was really difficult for me. So those two things I would say. Yeah. Well, I've struggled with that as well. And you know, I, I've, I've always been really good with numbers. I've, I've owned businesses since 16, I've always done my own bookkeeping, but this business has a volume that will, that will sink the best of them. And I've had bad CPAs. And the best thing I've done now is I've trained my staff, a couple of my key employees, how to actually do simple bookkeeping, enter data at pay, pay bills, you know, track bills, filing and all that stuff, just so the basic stuff's taken care of. So if I get hit by a bus and I'm in the hospital and I can't come in, they at least can get everybody paid and know how that system works. And then I hired a really good bookkeeper. And, you know, I went through so many terrible bookkeepers. They'd come in here and they'd say, oh, I've been doing this 25 years. They would see the volume within two weeks. I had two of them, literally two weeks, quit. And then the next one made it two and a half weeks, quit. That's how much volume we're dealing with here. It's, it's a monumental thing. So you got to get that off your plate. Otherwise you will be so stuck in your business working on that. And as you scale, it'll get worse and worse and worse. So train people, teach people. I know it's kind of that thing you don't want to let go of because it's money, but mm -hmm. you're going to have to, it's the worst trying to pay all those bills and get them done, especially for contractors, because I don't know how it is in Seattle, but here in Buffalo, they finish their job. They think they're strolling right over to our office to pick up checks, even though in the agreement that they signed, it says we can pay them within 30 days. Yeah, they somehow missed that. They were just thinking, oh, 